that was the scariest conversation in my life. <laughs> now, not a lot of people know, but you had a hand in kind of shaping uh, AI. You sat down with Sam Altman. You talked about AI and how our community is represented in it. So talk a little bit about that conversation and how AI is the, the role of AI in the future in wealth transfer and creation of uh, 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 our society. Um, nothing much scares me. Um, that was the scariest conversation of my life. Um, I wish we had more time. I'd unpack the how. We don't have time for it, but um, I went to go meet Sam. He's a nice guy. I think he's a, I think he's a Steve Jobs of this generation. And he showed me a, a um, prototype of what chat GPT was going to be. I had no idea what I was looking at. He showed me, to, showed me on his laptop. And um, he asked me, John, what's your opinion about tech leaders in Silicon Valley? And he said, we know all the same people. I won't name names, but the biggest names. And I said, well, they, most of them are technical geniuses with a blind spot called people. And he said, you know, I love, I love the honesty of your answer. I need another honest answer. What am I missing as I'm launching chat GPT? I said, well, the internet didn't ask for underserved communities' opinion. The industrial revolution didn't ask for it. The automobile re revolution didn't ask for it. The horse and buggy revolution didn't ask for it. You, with AI, should ask for the opinion and the engagement of what will soon be half of the population who are gonna drive the American economy. Go talk to them, and most importantly, listen to them, because God gave you two ears and one mouth, and you listen twice as much as you talk. And he said, okay, help me. Fine. So, a few weeks pass. The bad news is, there's gonna be unintended consequences, and I have no idea what they are. They could and they're probably gonna be very bad, I just can't tell you what they are. Like, he doesn't know what this, it, it's, this is like where the horse and buggy was from 1850 to 1910, and we went to the automobile, and things shifted like this. This is gonna go from between, between 2025 and 2030, your whole world's gonna change. Very much like, so what happened in 50 years is gonna happen in five. We are at this inflection point again now, where literally, if you have a high school education and no hustle, you're done. You don't, okay, you don't believe me. But first thing, this is a threat. We should see it as an opportunity. That's really what I'm getting out round to. Just pick what you're passionate about and become an expert in that with AI attached to it, and you've got a future that creates jobs and opportunities versus destroys it. AI literacy is the civil rights issue of this generation. 